A black hole jump is a one-way journey. The term black hole has an eerie quality to it. It alludes that something might draw us in and trap us, symbolizes nothingness and arouses sentiments of danger. What would happen if you were to fall into one, and what exactly are they? If you want to know about this, then stay tuned and welcome to Explained Earth. Never forget to smash the subscribe, like, and bell icons. A black hole is an area, as we all know, of space-time where gravity is so high that no electromagnetic wave, not even light, has the energy to escape. A location where time is irrelevant, with incredible characteristics that are difficult for us to comprehend. The universe's action take place on a broad stage of space and time. Time doesn't run the same for everyone everywhere, and space is not a set stage. Space is bent by matter, and the matter is directed by bent space. The stage sags when you place some planets or stars onto it. We have gravity because of the stage's irregular shape and numerous warps and dips. Black holes are like trap doors since they do more than merely bend the stage. With 10 times the mass of the sun, a black hole's diameter would be only 6 million kilometers. A black hole appears to be nothing when you gaze directly at it. The event horizon is an invisible, one-way boundary that separates the region from its influence. Once an area of space has been entered, it's permanently cut off from the rest of the universe by the event horizon. Not even light can escape the black hole trapdoor's extreme distortion of space. It is also hard to know what it exactly looks like because nothing is yet to be anything escaping to transmit information from the inside. Because black holes affect stuff, we can still see them. Similar to how objects might orbit the sun or a planet, objects can also orbit black holes. There are a lot of black holes with matter disks orbiting outside the event horizon. Close orbits can accelerate this stuff to the half the speed of light, and minute quantities of friction and particle collisions can heat it to a billion degrees. This causes the region surrounding these black holes to appear, ironically, to be quite brilliant. What would happen if you attempted to enter a black hole, or even if you got near one? The craziest funhouse mirror in the cosmos would be the first thing that you would notice. Gravity is so powerful close to black holes that light can also orbit them in addition to matter. You can only see yourself if you are hovering just beyond the event horizon at the photon sphere in any direction. Straight ahead, as light from your back passes through the black hole and towards your eyes, is your own back. Additionally, gravity affects how time itself passes. As the gravitational pull is really strong, time moves slower. Those who are farther away from you will see in slow motion as the universe above you accelerates. A bizarre one-way time travel trip to the future where your loved ones have long since passed away might occur if you decide to fly away from the black hole and discover that the rest of the cosmos has existed for eons. However, approaching a black hole can be extremely risky. You're in for a torturous spaghettification death. Since your feet are nearer to the black hole than your head, they experience a stronger gravitational pull that can separate you from it. As you descend, the pulling gets greater and your body is pressed thinner and straighter until, eventually, you are reduced to a thin stream of hot plasma that is swallowed up in one last slurp and vanishes forever. Spaghettification only poses a threat to smaller black holes because of their smaller radii. You might be able to cross the event horizon if you travel to a supermassive black hole in the galaxy's center. Do you know where the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A or the Sagittarius A star is located? Well, it's located at the center of the Milky Way. It's estimated to measure 44 million kilometers across and to contain 4.31 million solar masses. Your journey into Sagittarius A would begin once you cross the event horizon, the point of no return. Although you could see outside from within, no one could see you since all of the light would reflect back upon you. The good news is that even though the gravitational attraction is much stronger than that of smaller black holes, the tidal force that would otherwise cause you to become spaghetti is less. The bad news is you couldn't escape. In actuality, there is one way to escape the force of a black hole. It's to click that subscribe button. <laughs> Just joking. The bitter truth is unfortunately that you cannot escape a black hole. The singularity is located in the black hole center. All the stuff that has ever crossed the event horizon is condensed into one extremely tiny point at one location. As objects pass through the black hole trapdoor and are never seen again, there is no record of the items that survived. All things become equal in the singularity. 
The cosmos is actually broken in some really intriguing ways by this. In essence though, everything that gets too close turns into concentrated black hole matter at the singularity. Because a black hole has no memory of its history, it simply possesses three physical characteristics. Mass, spin, and electric charge. In that sense, they resemble fundamental particles. Actually, this means that each and every black hole in the cosmos is identical. Yes, their masses vary, and some spin more quickly than others. The singularities, however, would all be equal if we were to place them all in a fantastic physics museum just like electrons. Simply put, general relativity, one of the current theories of the universe, is unable to describe or explain them. Our laws no longer make sense since the density and curvature of space is endless. The singularity resembles a divide by zero error in the cosmos since it has no surface or size. Therefore, singularities may not even exist or may be entirely other entities. However, based on our best present theory of space-time and the best prediction we have, this is all we currently know. But as far as we know, all black holes in the cosmos should be spinning right now since black holes were created from dying stars that were spinning incredibly swiftly in their final moments. Moreover, at speeds that can reach 90% of the speed of light, this implies that black holes are actually even more flawed than they are typically given credit for. Even crazier singularities can be solved in revolving black holes. They enlarge outward into a kind of ringularity as a result of the rotation. The force of this spin is so great that it drags space along with it. As a result, a new area known as the ergosphere is created surrounding spinning black holes where it's impossible to remain still no matter how much you try. The tide of a black hole is inexorable, pulling you into its orbit whether you want to or not, like a maelstrom of space-time. More evidence against swan diving into a black hole can be found in the tidal disturbance detected by three NASA observatories in 2014. A star that was too close to a black hole in the center of the galaxy that was around 290 million light years away was the source of the event. Albert Einstein proposed the idea in 1915 that as objects move through space, they produced waves in space-time, a concept that unifies space and time all around them, similar to how water ripples across a pond's surface. Then, in 2015, gravitational waves were discovered for the first time by scientists at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, confirming his theory. This was generated by two black holes colliding 1.3 billion years ago. Black holes can be found observing how they affect the objects in their immediate vicinity. They absorb gas, dust, and stars which become overheated and release radiation that can be seen as a thermal picture. The Event Horizon Telescope, an array of eight ground-based radio telescopes made specifically to take pictures of black holes, was used to acquire the first photograph of a black hole and its shadow in the galaxy Messier 87, a member of the Virgo Galaxy Cluster, in April of 2019. The picture depicts a brilliant ring surrounding a black hole that is 55 million light years away from Earth and is 6.5 billion times more massive than the Sun. This halo is a representation of the heat that hot gas emits as it swirls around the event horizon or the very edge of the black hole and gets drawn in. It might be time to start learning more about these mysterious occurrences given that our galaxy alone has 100 million stellar mass black holes and that the Milky Way galaxy contains a supermassive black hole at its center that is so huge that it could fit inside of the orbit of Mercury. In their quest to reconcile the two ideas, astronomers and mathematicians alike use black holes as an awesome theoretical playground. Black holes offer experts a testing ground for fundamental theories that describe how the world functions, from general relativity to quantum physics and string theory. So what do you think? Do we need more information on these? Well, if you want to know more about Earth and the universe surrounding it, subscribe to Explained Earth and we'll tell you all about it. Tune in next week where we'll have more exciting content for you and we'll see you in the next video.